<laughs> What's up? Welcome to another Feature Garage vlog. Uh, I'm currently on my way to Disco's house so I can put the new clutch in. Because the clutch in this car is not rated for the power that this car is making, therefore it slips quite a bit. Um, and that's not fun. So, I'm going to, uh, or, or we're going to install this uh, competition clutch, stage four, six puck sprung clutch. Uh, it's rated for 275 pound-feet of torque, up from uh, my clutch now, which is rated for 187 pound-feet of torque. And the car is making uh, 216 pound-feet of torque at the wheels. So, the new clutch should be good. Um, so, let's get to it. If it doesn't get me high, it keeps me low. But see, just so seeker to keep my show, cause I'm a. Ah, okay, we're we're back. Where's We've already back? started on a bunch of stuff. And I forgot to record stuff. But we have a pro tip. We don't really have a pro tip. Damn it. <laughs> learn this Thanksgiving Day. Today's the day after. Yeah. No, two days after. All right, let's see. All on his own. Do a jump. Right up the dirt pile. Can you ride up the dirt pile? Okay. Do it. Big jump. <laughs> Good job. Perfect. Nailed it. <laughs> Good job. There's a hose there. Fancy. Zip zip. This is a tiny little guy. Yeah. The pocket rocket. Yeah, you have to have them that way. Gospel jams. Huh? Sounds like gospel music. Just. You don't have to like it. How did it shut your face? How did we get there? Just shut your face. That thing sucks. Break it loose. I'm just use like a. Impact. Hold on. Oh, it? It's a ratchet. <laughs> Why'd you have to be here? What are you doing? Well, I'm just Who are you? Is that how you treat your face? That's how I treat your face. Thank you. There. Gosh. Alright, what are we doing? The T-bracket. You gotta get it, get it totally undone. You gotta do it underneath. Uh, uh, hold on, what bolts are we undoing? We're not just undoing these two right here? I usually remove the T-bracket. There's three. Come on, let's back in. Oh, there's... I forgot how we should decide. Yeah, let's go through. Let's go to the these two. Oh, cool. Access to that bolt? Extendo? Yeah. It's original. It's power. I gotta remember that 1116 is always for good. See if it'll fit. It may not fit. Damn. Damn. Look at that. There it is. Right. Yeah. Did I just like get a ratchet in here? There you go. You're almost there. Eh, eh, eh. Uh huh. Eh. See how much easier that is than a ratchet? Yeah. yeah. The fuck is this? <laughs> it's the Gote song. Some, somebody around here. Gote. Is the bolt still in it? Yeah. All the bolts are out, right? Yes. Yeah. Go down there and grab the other side. Just kind of shake and bring it to you. Yeah, here it is. We scrape. We Gucci. So I should be able to lift down a little. So 
So here's the clutch. It's really not in terrible shape. It just can't hold the power that this engine is making. It smells pretty bad. So I'll hold on to this um, for maybe something in the future. It might get used for something else, I don't know. But eh, it's not terrible. And here's what's going in the car. It's a competition clutch, stage four, six puck sprung clutch. Um, it's rated for 275 pound feet of torque. So this should hold. You know, there's a lot of things on this car done right. You, you don't like it, but there's, there's a lot of things done right on here. Well, I, I try, and then again, it's not, you know. I think you should have timing covers. What's that? Bothers me. You don't have timing covers. Yeah, I yeah, I wish I had that as well. You don't have them. I just don't have them. Oh, look, you, I just didn't. Don't have you have pilot with motors? No. Well, and they all don't have the timing covers. I have a timing cover for a. I think I have one for a B7, but that, I don't know if that would work on here. The mount, all of the bolt holes are just, just slightly. Yeah. yeah. I ordered all the ones for that motor, brand new, on Majestic Honda. Because I wanted to have them. Majestic Honda, huh? Yeah. They're just better deals than the other ones. Holy crap. Pops are usually very stock feeling. That's not stock at all. <laughs> yeah, go for it. It might just be the fact that you're stable. Yeah, I, I'm sure, Sue. So you're going to feel everything. This stiff? Yeah, that's stiff as Jesus. Yeah, that's that Jesus. Now you're going to hit the, the. Oh, this is going to suck. Now you're going to hit the cable. <laughs> yeah, I'm really going to hit the cable. Oh, this is really gonna suck. Daily driving that? Holy fuck. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm sure the, I don't know. I wonder how the engagement's gonna be too with that. Really on off type stuff. But you bought a full face. What if, no, it was fucked. It was <laughs> it's on off. But it's, it's, still, sprung. it's still sprung. Yeah. So there's that, but. So how do you know you need to, okay. Well, I'm just, I'm just saying, how do you know you need to make an adjustment? Yeah, it actually felt to be all right. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Oh my god, that's insane, dude. Well, you need to start the car and see what it feels like. Okay, I mean, there's a bit of play there. This, what? Start the car okay. and just make sure it engages. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just got back from a, a quick test drive with the new clutch in and holy crap is the pressure plate stiff but the good thing is the clutch engagement it's actually uh it, it's pretty linear it's not exactly you know binary like i thought it was going to be what with it being a more aggressive compound um on the friction material as well as it being you know a, a six puck clutch uh, so it's not terrible it's just i gotta you know get my leg day game strong um for that uh daily driving with that clutch or with that pressure plate. Um, so now, now that that's done and taken care of, uh, we're gonna turn our attention now to Dave's uh, Lemon CRX. Uh, we just gotta finish up some wiring on that. Um, so then it will be ready to put the new engine in. So let's go to that. Pro tip. Pro tip. <laughs> 
uh, we're, we're trying to drill in through uh, this toolbox with an air ratchet. And it's currently the only thing that's going to fit in there. So, all right. So this old piece of scrap is going away. I'm so glad to have that car gone. Cereal. It's a huge weight off of me. Damn it. Okay, I have to abruptly end the video here. Um, I had to run back to the house last minute, but um, we pretty much got everything done today that we wanted to get done. I got the new clutch installed in my CRX, and then we got some more wiring done in Dave's CRX. The guy that you saw picking up the junk CRX at the beginning of this video um, actually came by my house and picked up the remnants of the Miata that I'm using for my lemons build. So cool, that's all gone and out of the way. And I'm just left with the parts that I need, the front, and rear frame rails, and all of these suspension bits, the brakes, the subframes, some driveline stuff, everything. All right, so that's it for this vlog. Be sure to check out the Facebooks, the Instagrams, and the YouTubes, as well as the website for any future articles that we have coming out. Until next time, bye.